Hello, everybody. Welcome to Beaver Dam Studios. We're coming to you live with some more Order 66 Autumn Open. Uh, Epos versus CS Watt today. So, it should be a fun match. And on commentary, uh, Guarded Watch, but you may know him a little bit better as Hell's Cat. Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing? People are going How's to it going, Beef? Uh, a little tired. You know, forgot it was Halloween today, so, you know, going great. But hey, we're about to get some tanking action, so all of that can wait. Yes, sir. Time to get some ghoulish action going on this afternoon. I should have. I know somebody did like a Halloween event, like a little Halloween tournament a couple weeks ago. I should have saved it till, uh, till the day or this weekend, right before Halloween. Um, real quick, uh, I don't know when they're going to launch, but we'll try to get down this tank list. Over on the CS Watt side, uh, Triple in a 705A, uh, Patrick in the Straw Filter in the Chieftain, Streety in the Unskinned Valor, uh, Mr. in a Chieftain, Boga in the Lycan, uh, Doggy in an E4. And we'll get the rest of them once we get in. Oh, yeah. Uh, who did I like? Adaki in the VZ-55. Uh, right, and over... Got it. Can we do D over here on EPOS? Go ahead. Nobody in the Valor, Sir Derp in the Valor, Night Owl in the T-95, Coney coming in there, CS-63, along with Gunderman, the Destroyer also in the CS-63, Dragoon Ritter coming out the KPZ, 50T, and then Ciro, the Vanguard. Oh, yeah. So, uh, interesting picks. Right? No, this is a very interesting lineup. So, people, while they're getting all set up here, uh, for people that are just tuning in and everything, and they haven't been taking part in the Order 66 tournament, you want to do a little run-through of kind of what the rules and everything are for these guys? Uh, give me one second. Uh, so we are going to be doing a best of five, to, uh, best of uh, seven. So first to four wins. Um, now this is a little bit not really odd setup, but some people might not be familiar with it. But it is a eight seventy seven. So uh, they can run seven tier tens, one tier seven. Six tier tens, one nine and one eight, or five tier tens and three tier nines. So you're going to so see an interesting mix of tanks. So the Vanguard and the Lycan cross paths with each other, did not spot each other. That was quite interesting. Both trying to get, but the Va Vanguard here is going to pop up, probably get some pretty good spots right there quickly. Now, did the. Nice. Did the locket? Oh, I don't know. We don't have detection indicators, but the 63 and Lycan had to lot each other, right? Lycan's definitely lit now. Yeah, Lycan's definitely lit. CS63 shooting at him. Nice spread, though. Going Ooh, across. Big hit. Yep. Oh, Lycan. Oh, <laughs> Vanguard getting half health there by the 705A. Oh, but the Lycan hits a rock. Is he going to be safe? Oh, shot come in, Ooh. but I think it missed. And here's my distraction. I always uh, get distracted by the, the blimp going down. A little bit of uh, pinging going on. Looks like uh, moving their CS-63s a little bit farther into the fight now. Kind of worried, to be completely honest with you. The 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 hit points, they're going to have to get these Valors up doing some work. Because, I mean, uh, even though, yes, the CS-63 could do, do quite a bit of damage, but... Man, there is a lot of hit points that are spread across that front ridge. There are. Now, Valor's, uh, Valor's making it up to the hill here. One of the 63s is pushing across. I think maybe uh, Gunderman's staying back. Oh, there he goes. He's pushing up through. So they're just all going to gather on the ridge. If I was Epos here, I'd be wondering, because I... I'm willing Ooh. to say the E4 has not been lit up yet, and of course... Uh, he is the... lit now. He just took a big shot in one of the 63s. Be 
worried about that E4 and then of course that Straub, man. That that Straub and that amazing pin that it does have. Yeah, the gun's a little trolly. But you gotta be worried about over here where uh, Nobi and the destroyer are rotating to. Trade Good shot, there. 705. <laughs> Takes one from Valor, I believe. Valor taking a big hit from the VZ, uh, VZ 55 right there of ADAC. 705's trolley armor take, uh, bouncing off the 63 and also the KPZ. So it looks like they're going to go for a route. Partial rotation on EPOS. Oh. Destroyer just take another hit? Yeah, he, uh, Yervil up there in that chieftain was able to get a good cheeky shot. A little bit of HE flying back out of the 705, it looks like. Kind of a slow map, very uh, very defender based map here. Yeah, that's when you told me that they were playing on Redshire. It was quite surprising, especially even on on this game mode. It's definitely well, a defender's they, uh, map. They open um, so like teams they have set maps. They don't get to pick their maps. So I mean we've uh, we've seen Fisherman's Bay. Uh, last week, and Fisherman's Bay actually for the match that I saw, it actually played out pretty well. I like hate so, the map in pubs, but KPZ in the Vanguard over here playing some HG at the 705A. Only thing I'm worried is, is that if if they do happen to take out the 705A. Uh, they're going to have to deal with that Straub that's up on top of the hill that's still just going to sit there and slap them. Good hit into, the, into ADAC there. I don't know. I don't know if the buildings will provide them any cover. I mean, if they can if they can get the 705 out and push up the one, they would have good side shots into the Chieftain and those heavies in the rig. I can, they're rotating here. Let me go take out here and take a look at Gunderman over here with EPOS trying to he, I, well, to say he knows that the E4 and the Lycan are out here hiding in the back, but he's pretty much... Well, E4 is a good shot on him, if, he, if he's not careful. There's a good shot. Half health Gunderman almost. Epos definitely hurting on the hit points and the Destroyer and that CS-63. He's a possible one tap for most of these. There's a good head into the chieftain. Gunderman now down to 743. Looks like they're definitely focused. E E4 is definitely focused on uh, Gunderman there. Yeah, he is trying to get those 63s out. Seven oh five eight. Almost dead. A couple more HEs out of him and he'd be... Had to shot one more link right there. KPZ's almost got him. Twenty points. He's just slowly picking that seven oh five away. All right, looks like Vanguard's on rotation now, rotating over towards B to help out the other two CZs. Probably spot up this E four, which is still doggy sitting with the full health in this E four. And there it is. 705 is down. All right, now, can they... one line for him. Yep. Can the K... Ooh. 
She need, uh, I don't know if that was a blind fire at the straw. I don't think he got lit. I don't think so either, but that was actually a decent blind fire, I think. It looked like it, yeah, it looked like it landed pretty close, close enough the straw was going to just maneuver back just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so I think CS what they have lost the 705, and it looks like Aposh is going to start trying to attack this uh, A-cap side of the flank. Ooh, Gunder been going Oof. down. He was on borrow time. Oh, Coney getting ammo racked. Oh, Straub is just... There we go. Straub got lit up there. Not out taking a couple big shots. So does Derp a lot. Adaki down to a one-shot in the VZ. Not out down to a one-shot in his Valor. Adak getting a good bounce. Oh, Nobi's really poked up high. See if they call the foot. Not a whole lot of focus fire on Nobi, but they did get Night Owl out there, right there. Straw with another good shot for the back. Mister goes Derps down. Derps a lot pushing. Derps. They better all go. Derps is going to get let. Oh, the Straw took a shot at somebody in the back instead of getting the one shot. Derp a lot. Derp a lot going Derp down there go now. Down. They do take the Chieftain out too, although. Mad dash. E4 now getting lit up. Vanguard going in on E4. Is he going to try to pop the Lycan? Vanguard on reload, though. Yeah. Ooh, I oh, I don't know why he went in right there. Oh, ran out of time. Oh, ran out. Yep. All right. So, CS, what holds on for the victory? MVP coming out of that match, Patrick. Two kills, 4279 of damage coming out of that straw. Good job. Chilling in the back. Holding it down. You know what's actually yeah. pretty neat is at this point in time with the streaming, um, with the replayability, while they were doing, you know, side switches and stuff like that, be able to go back into the replay and do it like an instant replay you know i i don't know if it was in Streamlabs or i think it was in stream labs there is actually an option to be able to go back and do the replays during a match i don't uh 100 remember but i could look into doing that but at the same time i don't i don't mess up the stream but it would be great to do after good be something to look into for sure uh real quick uh over on the eposh side uh coney in the 63 with 3153 the Destroyer in the 63 with 2281, Sir Derpin Lot. In the Valor, two kills, 2133. Novi in the Valor with 1723. Gunnerman in the 63, 1270. Uh, Dragoon in the KPZ, two kills, uh, 843. Um, Astrid's RL, I believe that's how you pronounce that, 64. Uh, 654 and not tell in the T95 with 475. Hells, you want to grab um, CS what's up? Nice, Lily. I'm in the garage. Sorry, sir. I completely to go through the. the damn it takes. So sorry. It takes a little bit to get back into the swing of things when you haven't done it in a while. Right. No, I it, being out of the game for almost going on two years now, so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things here. Hey, everybody that's it up there watching the, sh the show, remember, give some love, give some likes over there, share the, the Twitch link for Beaver Dam Studios. 
uh, share it out to your friends and get the word out. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Facebook has Facebook gaming. It would be kind of nice to see you add something like box. Which also. It's just me. Let me see here. I'm going to share. As we speak, I'm going to go ahead and share this out to all my friends. So they can check out this uh, amazing match that's going on right now. Real quick, before, uh, over on the CS, what a triple in the T25 FB, uh, Patrick in the C Atlantis, Aki in the. How can you're breaking up a little bit, buddy? That's not good. Uh, Doggy in the T95 FB, uh, Anders in the 63, and Sword in the IS7. Over on the EPOS side, here we go. Coney, along with the Destroyer and Gunderman, all in the CS63. Night Owl Dragon, both coming out in the Evil, Evil Conquer. Sir Derp's a lot pulling out the Sturb this time. Nobi in the Valor. And then Zero pulling out the T100 LT. So this is going to be super exciting. This pretty good matchup. As See, we were talking uh, earlier before the stream, uh, this is my rollout. This is what I would do is with the conks, especially on this map, dude. The, the conks are just absolutely devastating on Redshire, even through the whole history of World of Tanks uh, competitive. The conk is a go to for me, uh, bar none. Go ahead, Beef. Um, uh, sure, I was going to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> the old announcer just coming out at me. Oh, I remember what I say. Uh, Tally, welcome to the stream. Hope you are enjoying it. And, uh, Psycho has asked for more, to see more from Gunderman. So, Gunderman got a fan watching the stream. Leo tank, huh? Let's see what the Leo... I mean, he's got the vision. He he has the vision. Well, he has the vision, and he has that nasty, nasty 105 on that thing. And the accuracy to boot. So we'll have to see. Now, do you think they're going to put the Strav up there in the up top of the hill just like uh, they did before? It's like CS did. And it, at that same time, at the same notion, you would think that CS Watt would know that that's where the Strav would be, so they would watch that the shot lanes. All right, here we go. Um, what? Hang on. We're going to... I just noticed it. Uh, Eposh does not have a correct lineup. Oh, yeah, I was going to wonder, because did, don't they have to have a... a, a they, eight? um... Yes, they would need either an 8, or they would need a third 9. So this was probably, uh... Probably be a reset? Are they going to do a reset, or are they going to take the win? Uh, we will check chat. Uh, now, I don't remember everything from every little tournament. Tournament does have a mulligan um, provided in. Yes, they have a right to one mistake, so they should just get to repick the lineup, and we will relaunch. Uh, looks like we are just waiting on TS what to check Discord. I'm not going to oh, show it's... off, but I'm not. It, CS what kind of just grouping up there? They're gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to turn the camera back the other way. Yep. I'm, on, I'm yep. just going to actually go yep. ahead and go to the garage. Yep, that way. Returned. Yep, that way it's one of those they don't 
no one gets to see what the strats being being ran. Smart move. Um, I would say everybody just should just repick all the same tanks except for they will fix the one mistake with either tier eight or a third tier nine. We'll be good to go for round. Can't wait, Beeb. This is going to be definitely missing this. Can't wait to be able to get ships up and going. Be able to get some comp rolling over on ships. I know plans are coming. They were saying December. And oh, next month we were close? supposed to start getting... Tr yeah, and then we're supposed to be getting training rooms next month. It's going to be interesting. I, I don't know, man. I can't get the hanging ships very well, so I can only imagine... Ships with strats. Well, probably, it, and the, I, I know the biggest difference is it, over here really fast. They're going to be over here on EPA side. Connie, Destroyer, Gunderman, all CS-63s. Stero bringing back out the, the T-100LT. Nobi in a conch. Dragon in a conch. Night Owl in a conch. And then it was, yet again, uh, uh, Derps a lot in the straw. Go ahead, sir. It looks like they had the same um, pick over on the other side. Yeah, it looks like they ran the same lineups, I believe. No changes? Mm -mm. So it should be good. I do like the IS-7 on this map. Uh, IS-7 definitely has the good speed, the mobility, and there's a lot of little cubby holes that that uh, IS-7 can get hold down relatively quickly. I, I will still say IS-7, still comp go to 101 heavy tank. Alright, I hit the match timer this time. We're going to be good to go. So it does look like a hit point advantage over to CS Watt of about 550 hit points. Alright, now I didn't really... I didn't pay attention to the split on the last match. But it looks like we are getting a similar split from CS Watt. Uh, it looks like Eposh is getting very aggressive with those 63s. Uh, 63s and the Leopards on CS Watt. Uh, they're going to have to be careful here. We're going to get a nice little med fight. Yes, we are. Epos putting a lot of reliability into those Conquers. I mean, the Conquers have an amazing DPM and a great hold down ability here. So, but looks like they're going to go ahead and focus Destroyer here. So, Gunnerman and Coney coming in there trying to get the broadsides, but they're focusing Destroyer out. Andres At the is same getting time, focused Andre... out by the other side. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, All right. So they're next both going to trade a med. Looks like Patrick is probably going to lose out on the trade outs because they're getting good cross shots t100 lt now moving in to help it out back to a three three v one on the meds the leopard but no armor definitely just going to go down here yep now it looks so like the falcon is coming in but he is going to be in just a little too late he needs to go ahead and get out of there oh cs he's Watt, the one they're, they're gonna have to go and they're gonna have to push pretty hard with their with their IS-7s. Man, well, we're not even two minutes in and CS Watt no. losing four tanks. We're exactly at 8.05 right now. Nah, no, they wouldn't wouldn't even have time to be able to quick cap because of the Conquerors right there. Yeah, the Conquerors are going to hold that up. And then with the Straub in the background, this is going to be a very uphill battle. I don't know how they're going to pull the, do this, but... There you go. Oh, Jedi needs to get that IS-7 a little bit better angled. 
IS-7 can definitely angle and, oh, he, he's flush on with the Conquerors. That is death bill for an IS-7. Leaving the cheeks open, he goes down. Looks like this is going to be a quick wrap-up round. If I talk too much, B, just tell, tell me to be like, hell, shut up. <laughs> Here we go. I love watching uh, shells ricochet off the IS-7. Sorry about that. No, uh, people in the chat are saying speak louder. Um, so I was checking the audio on my phone with the stream. Um, I don't know. My end is good, guys. I don't... Uh... We're coming in pretty clear. I don't know if maybe it has to be something on there because I have my yeah. I have I have it on mine also and it's quite loud. So you guys might need to check on your guys' end. I did. Uh, I mean, I did turn the the main volume for the capture card up a little bit more. Maybe that's going to start coming through in a couple of minutes. I'll help. But I did just want to double check that real quick. It looks like Eposh coming in just to clean it up. Am I right shot there? Yeah, that is going to do it for the first map. I believe we go to Himmelsdorf next. MVP coming out there, Coney. The CS63 4, 4K damage. One kill. Nice, nice. All right, let's get this damage out the way while they switch maps. Um, over on the Eposh side, Coney in the CS63 with the one kill, 4,013 damage. Uh, Gunderman in the CS63 with two kills, 3,187. Nobi in the Conqueror with one kill, 2,076. Uh, Ciro in the LT with two kills, 1961. Not Al in the Conqueror with 1577. Dragoon in the Conqueror with one kill, 1123. The Destroyer in the 63 with 949. And Sir Derps, or Sir Derp in the 103B with one kill, 814. CS Watt over here. ADAC in that IS-7, 1187. Patrick in the CS-63, 1068. And then after that, it's all downhill from there. Under CS-63, 900. Um... Uh, 908 today 495 atlantis 410 did get a kill uh past in 397 mr 309 nothing coming out of the falcon feel like i don't know man. i feel like the falcon like he he was coming to help he made the right call there but it just he was too far away and he was just not able to get in there to, you know, get in there fast enough. I wish he would have turned and tried to run just a little bit sooner. All right, uh, back. Go ahead. I was just saying Himmelsdorf. Absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. Yep. I was about to say something about Himmelsdorf, too. All right, so uh, over on Eposh, uh, Coney coming out with a top five with Destroyer Night Owl in the Dreadnought. Been seeing a lot of dreadnoughts run. Uh, Dragoon in the E4, Sir Derp a lot in the 113. Nobi in the 705A, Ciro in the Conqueror, and Gunderman in the top five. Heavy, uh, looks like we might have a substitution or a tank change. Uh, they're all in 10, so they're going to have to change out. Oh, you know, they got the 7. Well, they got uh, the 7. So, so that makes it up. Uh, over on the CS Watt so far. I haven't seen one of these pulled out in a while. The KP-7, big old monster, out of Paston. Patrick in the IS-4, Mr. in the Mouse. Woo! Doggy E-4, Onder, 705A, along with Street in the 705A. And their 7 pick on this round for is in Milan in that Lycan. Let's just see what else other tanks are going to throw up on here. I've actually been hearing, this is not the first time, and even though I'm not even... 
in with the comp community, uh, I definitely keep my ear to the ground. And this is not the first time I've heard about triple tri uh, Type 5 heavies coming out on Himmelsdorf. So this is going to um, be interesting. It happens quite often now. Um, very often, actually. <laughs> oh, it, it's the new meta? I'm not going to say it's the new meta, but teams are, uh, it seems like they're running the top five. Top five, I believe, got a buff a while back. A lot of people have been running the top five. So do what, did they, did they give it a nice AP uh, pin increase or HE splash increase? I think it got a pin increase. In, it's been a few months. I don't remember exactly what the buff was, but it did get a buff and been getting around a lot and actually the dreadnought has been getting a lot of use uh in this tournament as a tier seven heavy just you it's know like being eight, able eight to uh, come out with two seven seven for the final pick oh see what happens so many different plays for for this map. One line push. Seven line push. Right, let me hit the timer as soon as those reloads start. Want to give a shout out. What up, Hawk? How you doing, sir? Kira, how you doing? Good afternoon, stream. Oh, thanks, Wahawk. Okay, so hopefully we got all the audio set up and fixed. Wahawk says it is perfect. Like and flying down one two line. He's gonna get that quick. If he can get down to the JK area, just to be able to get the spot to see if they're gonna do the push. So is it typically the type fives? What do they push down into A and then over towards the building and just wrap each other up? Um. I don't know. You see a couple of different different ways. Normally, yes, they uh, they just try to get over to the one two, and then they just slowly creep up to the flag. One might play uh, on the flag behind that building next to the train cars, and one will normally push up on the building. Um, a lot of times, though, they do just push them down banana and just go for straight B cap. Dreadnought pulled up a parking spot, second floor, G six. Ready to serve. I can just kind of chill right there. Yeah, I mean, he should start getting spots any second. I like the group up that Eposh is doing here. They're all going to go together. Here they go. Okay, locking got him lit. Shots are coming out. Yep, 113 pushing that 705A, trying to get its little bit of speed out of her. Oh, I like this. I like this push. Goodbye, Keeping that big heavies on the right side and pushing those faster tanks up the left. Now see us what having pretty good rotation. Already got all their tanks pushing around. Good shots of that IS4 in the back. Already down to half health. So here comes the 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 KP7 and the mouse dreadnought. Now uh, he did get a bounce on the KP. So Super Conk and Dreadnought now entering the fight. Nice slow roll here. Uh, okay, here comes. I was about to say I, I'm a little shocked they haven't put cat pressure on already. More good shots into that ice four. Top five. I'm worried about there. There we work. go. Nobi getting a little protected. I was a little worried because he was uh, had that back right just exposed just enough, and there's the hit. 
And that's what I was worried about because he was a little overturned and he exposed his entire side. But Was that from the E4? I didn't see who got that shot, but that was a good shot. All right, IS4 needs to be careful. I mean, he just needs to, like, stop poking for a minute. Is uh, He's not going to be able to stand up to these top five uh, rounds. All right, Dreadnought. He's definitely a one-tap. Past him now, facing off against a Super Conk. Dreadnought's trying to line it up. Passon's going to go down here. But he is taking out the Where? Dreadnought. I don't, I don't know if I like that trade, though. That, trading off a 10 for a 7, but... Well, Super I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that the mouse didn't stay with the Panzer 7. Yeah. All right, so top fives and the E4 have all pushed up to the base. They do have triple cap pressure on. Dragoon trying to show Gunderman just a little bit farther into the... Give him a little more protection. E4 looks like he's going to try to line up a shot on the 705A. Uh, it looks like Dragoon going to rotate to the right, start trying to help out with this small little push coming down the three line with that Miles. 11 sec six seconds on the cap. Four just Four gonna take reset. the hit. That's it. He Bosch capped it. Two one. Like MVP this match, destroyer, two kills, thirty-seven seventy-two coming out of the type five heavy. Looks like yeah, this could be a good damage game. Things can just put in the work, man. I'll let oh. you go down winning. <laughs> All right, over on the winning side, uh, the destroyer in the top five heavy with two kills, thirty-seven seventy-two. Coney in the top five with twenty-five fifty-nine. Their derp in the one thirteen with one kill, twenty sixty. Uh, Cero in the Conqueror, Super Conqueror, with one kill, 1844. Gunderman in the top five, 1628. Uh, Dragoon in the E4 with 1244. Night Owl in the Dreadnought, 66. And Nobi in the 705A with 616. Over on the CS Watts side, Doggy coming out that E4, 3308. Passed in the PZ, uh, there in the Panzer 7. One kill, 2356. Blocking though 2050, so good job for that. Patrick coming out IS4 1283, blocking over a grand. Streety in that 705A 12, 1266 with the 861 assisted. Onder 705A coming out there with a kill 1236. ADAC the object 277 coming out with the 770. Mister and the mouse. A little slow, couldn't get in the fight. Did get one good shot of the 449 and the like, and got taken out quickly by one of the Type Fives. He did get focused very, very fast. Well, I figure one one Type Five round should be able to take the, almost the entire like in one shell. I would figure as a one tap, if not. Um... But it, it looked like all three of them fired at the same time, so. I think the, I could be wrong, I think the max roll I've ever got out of a top five was uh, 11 or 1,200. So, yeah, he probably could one shot the Lycan very easily. Right, because Lycan, I, I thought only I did 750 hit, hit point pull. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Seven, yeah, 700, 750, something like that. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert at, I don't play sevens much. Looks like Gunderman has some some fans up there in the stream chat. People love Gunderman, man. Yeah, it looks like uh, Eposh coming out with E seventy five in turn. Interesting. Well, I mean, quick. They're very quick, accurate. Be definitely interesting to see. My question is over there. Look at it, CS Watt, Atlantis, Tom. Come out with the leopard. That screams topside for me. Yeah, yeah, they've got to put him up top to do some damage. But then I'd be worried because it's the same token as him pick, picking the leopard. You look over and you see destroyer in that 50B, which uh, two 50Bs, zero and destroyer. 
those screen top. Well, 63 also, and Anders, I mean, I would think he's going up top too. So this uh, up top, we're going to have a pretty good fight coming up on the top of the hill. I, I, a little bit of change out, a little bit of direction. I'll let you go down EPOS this time. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, real quick, uh, Coney in the top five, the Destroyer in a 50B with zero. Uh, not Al, Sir Derp, and Nobi, all three in E75s. Uh, Dragoon in the E4, and Gunderman in the top five heavy. All right, over here at the CS spot, Patrick, Type 5 Heavy, Atlantis Tom, and the Leopard ADAC IS-7, Mr. Mouse, Onder, CS-63, and then today coming out there in the IS-7. And if, I, if I'm if i slaughtering your guys' names, my bad. Yeah, I apologize too. I'm, I'm horrible with names. Even back in the WNF days, at least uh, if I slaughtered their names, at least they'd laugh and have a little bit of fun with it. I mean, nobody has ever got, you know, really mad. Normally, if somebody had, you know, they will send me a message like, hey, just, you know, next time. What is going to, my the question is here is what is CSY going to pull out for the lower tier? Are they going to pull out the seven or? I'd like the double nine, uh, having the, uh, the triple nine scenario on this map, uh, keeping the help, uh, hit point pool. Yeah, Granny, uh, you, you kind of trade off your spotting ability, but... They've got, oh, I mean, what, this... six? Six picks, so they've yeah, got to what? Pick, they got to pick a, uh, the seven. Seven and eight? Oh. Here's a KPZ. Yep. Oh, it, even 90. Pulling out that's the it. other version of the Vanguard. That's an interesting pick right there. <clears throat> KPZ, I, maybe that would be another top side. So tops looks like it's going to be top side. It's going to be busy, busy. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, push all those beds in that lot tank over the... I just don't know about the ELC. Maybe, uh, oh, they have. maybe watching one line. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this. I mean, unless they're going to try to put the mouse, the top five on cap and hide him behind them. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just going to wait and see what they do with it. Wait, uh, which tournament was that? Oh, goodness. That was a long time ago. Uh, that actually happened. Uh, yeah, I did Immortals. that. And I thought it was, uh, was, what, was it on your six where they rolled in the two, the double mouses and then put the Vanguard in between them? We, um, we put, uh, two top five, or two mouses, three mouses, and we put a LT in between them on the B cap right there and just trapped right, them you in. Kinda, you trapped them in in a, in a yeah. triangle move. Yeah, we just uh, just put one on each side of Lonky and closed the gap, and they couldn't get to her. All right, so three meds all up top. Looks like the 50 Bs from Eposh might be going up top, so we might have a nice little hill battle. And it looks like the light tank is staying with those heavies, so... Yeah, KPZ going to light the 50 Bs here. The gig is up. No shots, though. 50 B did get down to safety. standard kind of meta spread for Eposh over there for defense for A rushing down the E75s down the down the line that's what I'd figure use their mobility oh good shot by the leopard into the back of one of the 50 B's dude I think that's what CS Watt's doing they're keeping the lot tank right there they're going to try to sneak it on cap But I, it looks like but, uh, Epos is smelt what the rock was cooking and rotating over. Yeah, that fifty, those fifty bees are gonna light the whole shebang right here, and those top fives are pushed up. Uh, it's gonna be interesting because they're still leaving that these, corner gap. 
at uh, these meds. These meds E6. have to push off, and they have to get these fifty Bs under control. Oh, monster hit! Tony slapping Patrick. See what they do. Yep. All right, gonna Patrick's going to be the one right that takes there. a hit. Here we go. IS seven then rotating in. They're going to have to watch out for the fifty B on the oh. for the clip. Yeah, they're just going to try to hide them, hide them in there behind everybody. The only thing they have to worry about is is if they HE splash the building, it the even ninety does have the ability to to take some damage right there. I mean, honestly, that's what I would probably do is be ordering my hit type fives, load up the HE, slap the building, and get the splash damage off the HE. You can barely even see him in there. Fifteen seconds on the cap. E seventy five E four is coming around from behind. Mister in the mouth is getting focused. He's there going it to is. Down. Splash damage. They slapped uh, slapped the mouse with H E, which then hit the in the, the face. And it just, yeah. This. All right. This is gonna all gonna be up to C S S Watts mediums to get the business done. But the fifty B, Serio man putting up a fight. He is not going down without a fight. just so many tanks right here. I can't tell who is left alive in the center of that. One of the I-7 sword just went down. It's definitely a nice try on the play, but those E-7, that, that is the wonder, the, 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 the awesome thing about the E-75. They are, for as big as they are, they are quick and they are mobile and it did not take very long. Big props out to e EPOS here, picking up what the play was with that light tank and getting in there to stop it as fast as possible. I like that play. I do, I do like that play. I, I wish they had brought a third super heavy. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Just saying MVP coming out on this one. Coney, two kills, 3703. Um... That, that play of rushing in there, getting the mouths with the HE, and getting that huge splash explosion to reset the uh, Vanguard or the Even 90 was absolutely brilliant. Go ahead, Beef. Uh, real quick, over on the... Uh... Hey, I'll do, I'll do CS watch this time. You can take you flash. Uh, Atlantis in the Leopard 1 with 33.57. Andre in the 63 with 19.4. Uh, Patrick, top five heavy, uh, 1432. Sword in the I-7 with 1019. Uh, Daki in the I-7 with 918. Uh, Triple in the KPZ with one kill, 884. Mr. in the Miles with 521. And Doggy being the center of attention that game and just trying to hide for his life on the cap. We're here on EPOS side. Coney, yet again, as we said, MVP coming out there that Type 5 Heavy. Two kills, 3703. And then also blocking 490 at the same time with 103 assist. Coming down to the pair of 50 Bs coming in first and, uh, apologize, second and third. Destroyer coming in there, two kills, 3K. And then Serio, he, man, he put up the fight and definitely did not stop. He wouldn't allow those mediums of C... Uh, CS Watt to come around. 28-33. Gunderman, everybody's apparently fan favorite, the Type 5 Heavy coming out. Two kills, 22-34. Dragoon in the E4-1700 with a 12-40 assist. Must have got a track and then the slap. Uh, then here we come with the E-75s. Yeah, they had low damage, but the, the rotation of them coming back in really sealed the deal for EPOS. 1558 out of Sir Derp's Night Owl of 1306 with a kill. Nobi, one kill, 780, uh, 787. This showing the mobility and the firepower of the E-7 and able to rotate from one cap over to the other with mobility on their side. Great match. Great match. Back to you, Beef. Yeah, those guys did great with those E-65s. All right, so we are going to proc next. Uh, now, CS Watt needs to come out big here. They are kind of backed against the wall. Remember, everybody, 
give some love, show some love here. Give uh, Beaver Dam Studios some su support. He's covering this tournament for everybody. Show him some love. Subscribe and make mark him as a favorite. And turn on that. Remember to hit that bell for notifications for when Beaver Dam Studio goes live. Check out Beave and every time that he's able to come out. And then don't forget to check him out over on YouTube at Beaver Dam Studio. Also, show him some love. Give him a subscribe. Hit the notifications and the thumbs up on his videos. He definitely has some decent previous videos that are on there that give you hours of entertainment. And then I'm going to get Beave. I'm going to also gonna do a little plug. It's been a while, but we definitely still have the vintage archive over on WNF. If you want to go check out years past. <laughs> If you want to go check out some of these plays that these uh, that some of these teams actually still do, um, as a matter of fact, I think that play is still over there on the WNF YouTube. Uh, go check out some great previous tanking actions over the last I don't know how many years that we've been covering uh, the I Robo think, Tanks console comp. I think the first video was from 2016. Man, but. We uh, were streaming before that, just on a different different channel. So, well, I mean, honestly, we were streaming on WNF before we got the YouTube. So there's no telling how many matches are just lost because we didn't have the YouTube at that time. Right, right. Most definitely, yeah, because even at that point, uh, we were covering GTL. Well, not even GTL. Um, oh, darn WCL. it. What was the wcl tournament one i believe the last season of wcl um and you know they would they would be on the twitch but they would you know the twitch deletes after so long right we didn't have a youtube back then so go oh. back and you can check out uh go see some of the gr lates and greats of the game the immortals pg uh tng all those old school teams that uh originally kind of set the bar and set the mold. NFTG, of course. Um, <clears throat> multiple UNL. teams. A UNL, a lot of Euro teams. Um, that was back in the good old days. I guess you had called it the golden years. Golden age of what, comp? Yep. Back when... Yeah, the... um... I mean, off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly, but there's... Over 500 videos. And then here soon, over there on the WNF YouTube, we're going to be having ships and everything else coming up on it. So if you, you're a fan of ships, it's, it's going to be a different type of comp. Early early game's going to be taking a little bit. Now everybody has to realize that the hit point pool is a lot higher, but also the alpha damage is a lot. So it's going to be spectacular getting detonations hitting, especially if we go, if we go up to legendary status with like uh, the GK the, and stuff like that. You're talking some of them ships get up to 100,000 hit points and you're able to dev shot them with 100,000, you know, K shot. So it's going to be exciting once we get comp rolling over there. Uh, was... Epos, my turn to do an epos. Your turn to do a turn to do. CS. Take, that... take, take whoever you want. <laughs> no, Here we are on epos really fast. Coney coming out in the IS seven destroyer machine night owl CS sixty three dragoon ritter in the IS seven. Sir Derps coming out with the Strav one hundred three B. Nobi IS seven. Uh, Zero coming out there the Vanguard. Go ahead, Beef. Uh, over on CS what still the couple of tanks, but uh, Patrick in the 63, uh, Atlantis Tom in the KPC, Adaki in the machine, Ander in the 63, Sword back in, oh, Leopard PTA this time, still really like that, uh, Triple in a Fosh 155, played on a couple of more tanks. You know what, actually, another little light tank that T-54, or not the T-54, uh, the, the Soviet light tank, um, the mini T-54. Oh. The 54 lightweight? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's called something else, but I always just nicknamed it the T-54 lightweight, or the lightweight. Right. 
which technically, back in the day, I mean, that was basically your medium, your eights. Right. I mean, there wasn't really any. Ooh. I think he, uh, I think he kicked a random. Did that? It kicked the map over. There we go. All set. Uh, just a kind of hoping here to see the CS WAP pull out these last two games. I'd love to. I, I, I'd love, love to see him come back here. Uh, real quick, Doggy in the E4, Boga in the T92. I believe that's every. Zero changed out over on this side, uh, going from Vanguard over to Lycan. Now, I did see a couple teams running the LTG, or LG, the Tier 7 Russian. I forget the name of it. Um, but very low profile, very fast. It was doing a lot of work the other day. It looks like we may be having a change on CS. What side now? Coming up with the IS-7. We'll change the machine for an IS-7. A little more armor. All right. So many different strats ran on this on this multi-base assault here. Going up top, pushing the two line up and over nine zero. Going down the seven. So we're gonna have to see here. You never know exactly what these teams are gonna do because it's always a surprise. I would figure Leopard would either be B two or A zero. There's some. Looks like we're gonna go for an, a right Somebody, side yeah. push. Somebody is really pinging the seven eight nine. All right. right. Well, looks it looks like, like at the same time CS Watt's gonna go that way. Oh, we're gonna have <laughs> an explosion. This is oh, gonna man. be a good one. T92 lacking both going to just spot each other. They're not going to spot anybody else here. Can the T92? He's going to. There's the spot. Bails over. All right. Teams are lit. Shots coming in from everywhere. Well, I'm going to have to go to a widespread camera view of this one, Beef. I'm having to stay up and back to try to get all of this action in. You're exactly the way, the way that I am. Uh, it's going to be interesting here. Once the Strahd's able to get up top and get into position, unfortunately, he is El Solo up there. So if CS Watt decides to rotate those mediums up top, he's going to be in definite trouble. Um... I don't know, looks point, like they might be rotating. Are they rotating the CS and the machine also back? The CS is from CS what pushing the hill at the same time. Let's see, Patrick's gonna be gonna be coming up here, but oh, he, and he is all by himself. You're gonna. The oh CS no, 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 Patrick! No, Patrick! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, there was a fire on derps a lot, but that is. But the problem is now the IS-7s are completely broadside to the other CS and the Leopard. So now EPOS is going to have to push up and over. Oh, the, there goes Ooh, Dragon. Good fire. Yep, good fire into Dragon. One for one here. Hit point advantage still over to CS Watt. Now, I would like to see the Falcon push south. Get down into about the K-7, K... Get on those tracks. Yeah. If you can't yeah, get, get on the back track. shots into something, just to make these guys head turn. Right, right. Get down doesn't there, take to, pop yeah. shots, push ups. Doesn't yep. have to do much. Just enough to nope. keep everybody lit up. Let let the E4 get the shots from from, okay, okay. from B6, B7. There's some good big push. Hits. Yep, yep, yep. 
push coming over top into Anders. Now the Fosh can... They, uh, yep. Is the Fosh Ooh, running the three-rounder or the six-rounder? Uh, it looks like he's running the six-shot. Epos can get picked off here. There's a good fire. fire. Yep. Fosh they ripping it. They are going to focus out the 63. All right, one down. Nice going. Now, unfortunately, over here, they are lightweight, so you're talking two leopards, pretty much. Yep. So you have to make the... Oh, Fosh getting ammo wrecked. Fosh is going to go down here. Bosch going down. Uh, Atlantis, he is going to go down too. Machine's going to do a quick reload. He can just hold down there. He doesn't have to push. He doesn't have to do much. Like the Falcon going to try to come in, cause a little bit. Oh, Locking goes down. Bogan needs to be careful. This I yep, I seven did have a big shot into him right there. What I'm worried about here is lack of armor. You have a lichen and a leopard stuck in, into the creek bed. You're going to put a lot of pressure on Doggy and Adak. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like the... And, and Derp's a lot is still up there in the straw. That's that's the problem. I thought the Falcon might be able to get out right there. It looks like he's going to be stuck. Kind of crazy I watching I is seven bouncing on a leopard PTA. It looks like Boga going to try to get out. About five thirty left on the clock. Yep. T ninety that Falcon needs to get get south. Upside is is I mean technically right now trying to apply cap pressure is pretty low. Uh -oh. Uh oh, leopard goes down. The noose is slowly starting to tighten here. Falcon needs to maybe get into F6, F7, get that Strav, and possibly get the Strav side. Oh, E4 missing. That's a big thing. They're going to push up now. Good focus shooting around the E4 to try to get the IS-7 out. Downside is Lake Psycho. He's getting up the hill, and he's going to be able to get some side shots into the IS-7, so... Oh. Look at the E4 does go down. Coney, just go ahead and rush in here. He could take a hit and then go ahead and slap that low plate. There it is. Looks like this is going to end here, Beef. Well, how much time's left on the clock? Where is the clock? Uh, we got four minutes left, so... Looks like they... I don't know if they're just going to jump on cap or they're just coming straight across cap to chase him down. Yep, they're just going to come chase him down. Well, I mean, let's see if we can see a clutch come from a light tank. Not allowing the cap, but let's see here. He is lit. Not, Does... He is lit. Ooh, big shot oh. from the machine. There it is. First to four, sir. First to four. All right, Connie guys. coming uh, out MVP again. That's his third time being MVP coming out in the IS-7. 5,222 damage with three kills in an IS-7. Huge shout out to Kony there pulling it out. That is a great game on his part right there. Uh, well, congratulations to Epos on bringing home the victory today. Uh, that is going to do it for us. I uh, want to thank everybody for watching. Thank Hills for coming out to commentate with me today. Well, stuff. Um, yep, just... Uh, like Hale said earlier, check out the YouTube. Give us that follow here on the Twitch. We would really appreciate it. And we will catch you tomorrow with Welcome to Hell versus DC.